Our top story this morning, the levels of the Great Salt Lake have tied the record low that was set back in 1963. That's according to the Utah Water Resources. Yeah, why is this a major concern? Well, news specialist Tamara Vifanua has the story for us this morning about uh, how this ties into the drought that's gripping the western U.S. and really what it means for us here in Utah. Tamara, good morning. Good morning, Dan. So many implications here beyond the problems that brings uh, the, for the habitat around the lake. It could also mean trouble for the air that we breathe. So it is very concerning for scientists. You know, the Great Salt Lake spans an area nearly the size of Delaware. It's the biggest salt lake in the Western Hemisphere. But this picture-perfect destination could soon be no more. Years of water diversions, climate change, and an unprecedented drought have brought the lake's levels to a historic low. Great Salt Lake will be an environmental, economic, and really cultural catastrophe all in one. This lake could become a one of the larger dust emission sources in North America. The ecosystem itself is on the verge of collapse. Now, for years, people have been diverting water from rivers that flow into the lake to water crops and supplying homes. Jamie Butler argues that all needs to change. The Utah Division of Water Resources says it is expected to drop even more in the coming days, setting a new record. Dan, Lori, back to you. All right, Tamara, live for us this morning. Tamara, thank you.